The weather is wondrous. It controls so much of our daily lives, from what we feel, where we might go, to whom we might see. But how do you check the weather? Some turn to their phones or the news, but I'd like to propose something more rooted in the real. This piece of black walnut started as a board, about four feet long. I'll chop it down and plane it to about a half inch thick. From there, I can chop it in even thirds, joint the edges, and glue them together. This will form the base of our piece, a one foot by one foot square of black walnut. It'll be nice and dark so as not to reflect too much light from the LEDs, keeping them reasonably readable. I'll do my best to apply an even coat of finish to this piece. This will both protect it and bring out the character of the wood. I need a finish that's not overly glossy, but something that will darken the finished piece. Here I'm using Osmo, which is an oil wax finish. I walked into my local lumber supplier and asked what I should use. This was their recommendation. It's worked well, but was also $22. PCBWay reached out and offered to sponsor a project, so I had them fab the heart of this one. The PCBs will help align and alight the LEDs. These are nice, high-quality boards that will perfectly serve this project for years to come. In addition to PCBs, they also offer CNC machining and 3D printing for all of your project's needs. Check them out at the link below. Let's talk about the lighting. I found these LED filaments on AliExpress and ordered a whole collection of them. The plan is to use them to create some graphics for the sun, moon, and a cloud. This will allow me to graphically display the weather. In addition, I made these two and a half digit displays several months ago. This project is what they were for. Using these, I can display the temperature. I'll use three to get the minimum, maximum, and present temperature for the day. I'll mount the PCBs to the back of the board by drilling some holes and gluing in some brass inserts. With the template mounted, I can drill about 250 tiny half a millimeter holes, snapping three bits along the way so I can feed thin copper wire through the board. The LEDs will live on the front, soldered to this copper wire, and the PCBs will be hidden behind the board. This gives a super clean, almost steampunk look to the whole thing. Finally, the weather. This project uses the National Weather Service's API. It runs three concurrent processes on the onboard ESP32, which drive the numeric displays, handle the graphics update, and collect new data from the National Weather Service. And here it is finished piece. With its rich walnut backing and vibrant LEDs, it's certainly one way to know the weather.